Hi everyone, thank you for watching and welcome to today's video. So today I am going to be sharing with you guys my top five favorite nude liquid lipsticks. I have actually wanted to do like my top favorite nude lip products for a long time. But uh, as you guys probably know, I'm like obsessed with nude lip products, so I'm always buying and trying out new ones, but I figured it was time. I have a really good like solid collection that I use, like these five products I use literally all the time. So I'm just going to share them with you guys today and show you the shades and tell you a little bit about the formula and why I love them. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. And please leave me your favorite nude lip products down in the comments below because like I said, I am always on the hunt for new good lip products, especially in the nude shade. So please share that with me. I would love it. All right, let's just go ahead and get started. There are a lot of different types of nude lip colors out in this world but for me personally I always lean more towards like the really light pinky nudes with like a little bit of peach so a lot of these are gonna look like really similar in color but to me they're like all different and have just like a special place in my heart so the first one that I want to talk about is this Too Faced melted liquefied long wear lipsticks no this is not a matte liquid lipstick but it is a lipstick in liquid form and I absolutely love this shade and this formula and I really really enjoy the applicators. This is the shade Sugar Swatch on the back of my hand. This is an extremely full coverage lipstick. Like I said, it's more on the like luminous satin finish. It's definitely not matte, but it does wear for a really, really long time. It's absolutely gorgeous. The applicator is one of the things that I love most about this. It just makes it really easy to apply to your lips. So absolutely love the shade gorgeous the next one is a more affordable option and it is the NYX soft matte lip cream in the shade Cairo this has been one of my favorite lipstick shades for years and years now this is an extremely light nude it's more of a lip cream but absolutely beautiful this is sugar and this is Cairo. You can see that this one has a little bit more of like a peachy neutral undertone and this one is a little bit more pinky, but both are really pretty. These are some of the best drugstore lip products that I have ever tried, especially if you are into like the more matte look. This doesn't... Okay. They also have so many different shades. They have a lot of nude shades as well. Like I said, this is the lightest one I believe and it's definitely my favorite. I have another affordable liquid lipstick and this one is by, boy, <laughs> this one is by Jordana. This is the Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Color and this is in the shade Buttercream Frosting. Again, I believe that this is the lightest shade in the collection. I actually did a lip product of the week video on this and another shade and I just picked these up at the drugstore one day and these are freaking good and they're only five dollars i just swatched it so it hasn't dried down completely obviously when a lot of liquid lipsticks dry down they do dry down a little bit darker so this is um buttercream frosting on the back of my hand right here if somebody took the packaging like the label off of this i would say that this was a high-end liquid lipstick that's one of the reasons why i was so blown away by it these are extremely full coverage they are extremely long wearing I feel like they look really nice on the lips. They don't really emphasize the lines too much. And they smell really, really good. Like, that one's called Buttercream Frosting. And honestly, it smells like Buttercream Frosting. It's amazing. For the last two, I honestly am so in love with these lip shades, these lip products that... I cannot choose which one is my all-time favorite. So when I found this one, this is the one I bought first, and I was like, okay, I'm done. Like, I don't need any more liquid lipsticks. This is it for me. This is the shade. This is my formula, everything. And of course, that only lasted for so long when I was like, oh, I want to try something new. But this is the Tardiest, Tartiste, I always say Tardiest, Quick Dry Lip Paint, and this is in the shade Pillow Talk. And oh my gosh, you guys, this is the most gorgeous shade ever. I absolutely love this. So as you can see, it's very light. It's like a white pinky nude and it is like the perfect shade for my skin tone. I feel like when I bought this, I could not put it down. Like I wore this every single day, every time I did my makeup, like you couldn't pry this from my hands. This is extremely 
quick when it does dry like it says so you have to work pretty quick when applying it but like I said with the other um, liquid lipstick I do moisturize my lips before I put this on that just makes it go on a lot smoother actually the only Tarte liquid lipstick I own I definitely want to get more just because I love this shade so much and for the last liquid lipstick I actually haven't owned this one that long and I have talked about this in a favorites video recently and I received like the small size of this in a different shade in my Sephora play box and I loved the formula that much that I went out and bought a full size this is the bare minerals gin nude matte liquid lipsticks I said this probably two or three times already on my channel I would not consider these a liquid lipstick I think they're more of like a full coverage lip cream because they never really dry down to a full matte but they are extremely long wearing and they smell freaking amazing they smell like brownie batter so I have mine in the shade wink which I don't know if it's the lightest shade they have some pretty light nudes I just went to Ulta and swatched a bunch and I thought that this one was right at my alley which again it's more like a pinky peachy nude they're really nicely on the lips it feels extremely extremely comfortable and very just like moisturizing but still has like a matte finish but it doesn't feel matte <laughs> I don't know how to explain it other than the fact that it's probably one of the best formulas obviously because I'm talking about it that I have that I have ever tried so here is all of the shades swatched on the back of my hand so we started with sugar by Too Faced and then Cairo from NYX uh, buttercream frosting from Jordana pillow talk by Tarte and then wink by bare minerals so all of them pretty darn light I should have gone from like lightest to darkest but that's okay this is my favorite nude lip products like, I just want to put all of them on at the same time. <laughs> Alright guys, that is everything for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, please let me know your favorite nude lip products down in the comments below. I also am going to be doing like a part two to this video. This one, I wanted to keep it just like liquid lipsticks. I'm going to be doing my top five favorite nude lipsticks as well. So like a lipstick, like a regular lipstick. I already have them set out here. Um to film them but anyways that is everything please let me know if you have tried out any of these products these shades um, let me know your thoughts on them and I love you guys and I hope to see you in my next video bye